How's it going, guys? I just wanted to show you this real quick. If you notice the temperature on this one tower, 72.1. <coughs> temperature on this other tower is 78.6. The temperature outside is about probably about 101 degrees outside. And the humidity is probably about 20%. Now, I just want to show you guys something here. 72.1, okay? All I have cooling this down is this fan, okay? So evidently, just a plain old fan blowing down, air downwards inside and then letting it vent out through the top is actually cooling this tower down. Actually, it's doing a pretty damn good job. And um, actually, I'm kind of surprised that just one fan is actually keeping this thing that cool. I mean, you can't beat that. I'm going to most 30 degrees cooler than the outside temperature by just using a simple computer case fan. Um, the fan, I, this here was just a, the old uh, gothic cap, I guess. I cut the top off, and this, this here is a stainless steel uh, perforated screen. Uh, just, all I did was just paint it white. So I'm letting all the air suck in there, okay? And the air is cooling down, hitting the top of this water, cooling the water down. And I have a couple holes right near the top here, so it's allowing it to vent through the uh, tower and on the back side here I mean I'm getting a lot of cold air blowing out of this thing so but I will tell you this there's a give and take on this being that this is set up like an evaporative cooler you're going to lose a lot more water so you know it's a give and take guys it's a compromise so if you want the cooling, you got to put up with the vapor of water. You got to fill the tank up like every three days, every four days. You have to check it. Um, but I mean, for what it is, that's not a bad deal, you know. Like I said, I'm almost 30 degrees cooler than the outside temperature. So I just wanted to share that with you real quick. Um, if you guys have any questions, to ask. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. So you can see it. There's just this tower here is 78, and it's 79 degrees, and I have nothing cooling this tower at all. All I have is that Rhino liner sprayed on here, and um, actually it's doing a pretty good job reflecting the sunlight and keeping that to cool down. So that might be something you guys might want to look into is using that Rhino liner coating. Um, it seems to keep it a little bit cooler, which is good. Um, but anyhow, I just wanted to share that with you guys, just to show you that, you know, I, just a simple fan can actually cool this thing down. So, uh, there it is. And, uh, here's my, let me give you guys a shot of my lettuce here. Here's my towers. And you can see, this thing here is just like a jungle. It's just covered. All right, the lettuce is just doing awesome this, in this tower. Uh, this is a red romaine with uh, spinach growing down on this side. This one here is like a fancy butter gem. It gets little red spots on it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it gets like little red spots all over the leaves. Um, so I mean, it's not doing too bad for outside but being 100 degrees out. And I'm on the East Coast, so and, and like I said, this is getting full sunlight. You can see how much sunlight this thing's getting. This thing's getting sunlight pretty much uh, from noon on to about sunset. So it's doing pretty, pretty good. All right, I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick. Um, again, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to ask, post them, if you like what you see, hit subscribe, and um, I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. See you, bye.